All right, so I have it dialed in here and I'm just gonna skim the front. We're gonna see how much it takes. Uh, I guess as long as I got it dialed in here, I got bushings in there with a mandrel and I might as well chase the threads while we're at it here, but I'm just gonna do the receiver face here and we're gonna see how close it is. <laughs> touching the edge here. of it. We'll go one more thousands. Hopefully that'll do it. content with that. All we're doing is squaring the face up. So that took three thousandths of an inch to clean that up. So that was not too bad. This is an older Remington 700, so a uh, little, well, a little better quality than they are now, but. All right, let's see if we can chase those threads. Well, we missed that part, but went in there and cleaned up the threads and did the lugs in there too, just touch those. Those took about six thousands to clean up because they were galled a little bit, so uh, we had to clean those up a little bit. And uh, anyways, I gotta clean that out and we'll get it off here and take a look. All right, there we go. They're all cleaned up. There was one tiny little score in there in that bottom lug. Um, the rest of them look cleaned up super nice. You know, I could have taken a few more thousands out, but that one little score there is not really going to matter much. That was a pretty deep one. Uh, so I just left it. Executive decision to leave that one. But um, everything else cleaned up really nice and looked really good. So there we go. And the next thing I'm going to do, not today, I think I'm done for today, but uh, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. This guy, I'm just going to get this guy in the lathe clean up the back of the lugs and the bolt face and that's going to be about it on this thing uh, and then this is going to be quite a bit of work uh, for just a standard old hunting rifle that's all this is going to be is a hunting rifle so it should uh, give it quite a bit more uh, potential to be accurate this thing's going to be accurate no matter what so all right so we got the bolt set up here and i got it all dialed in it's within a half a thousandths. The needle's moving a little bit there, but these bolts are not perfect. So we sweep across here and that doesn't move at all. And we're a little less than a half thousandths there. And we sweep back here. It stays in the same spot. A little less than a half, about a half a thousandths there. So uh, over about two inches there, inch and a half, inch three quarters, that's about as much as we can ask for with one of these bolts. So I feel pretty <clears throat> confident with that, within tolerance of the action for sure. 
All right, so we're just going to come in on the back side of lugs here. And we go. Turn the face cover around. We're going to get close in there. Yep, and then we're going to see where we end up. about where they were cut before, I'm going to cut them a tad bit deeper now. So there we're just not even cutting them. Cut just a tiny little bit. for a clean up. So then we got a little cutter here, a little curved cutter. We're gonna go in there and cut the bolt face. And it's kind of tricky because you can't see it well.
stop you and show you here. So there, as you can see, it's not cutting all the way around. It's getting close, but it's not too far off. Maybe a couple thousands that'll clean up. We'll look at the back of the threads here, or the back of the bolt lugs. So they're cleaned up. So finish cutting the face here. All right. One more thousand. So we're going to touch up the nose and the front of the bolt face. <clears throat> um, the nose is just more concentricity, so in case we want to get that nose really close, and same thing with the lugs. So we're just squaring them up. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things if you're doing a hunting rifle. They're going to be eight, ten thousandths away anyways. Doing a tighter little bench rest might be a little closer, but um, this just, as long as we've got it set up here, might as well do it. It takes an extra few minutes. And and again, just to show you how far out they are, if you can see, you probably can't see too well, but there's a little better view, but you can see it's just touching right on the edge there, so. About two thirds of the way around. all the way around good enough for what we're gonna do here and we're gonna go back on the lugs and turn this thing in reverse completely cut and the other is half cut around the bolt so we'll cut another thousand <laughs> Still isn't cleaned up, but 
We'll do one more. It'll be pretty close to what we did on the bolt face. Close enough. That is almost 98, 99% cleaned up in the front. I think we're going to call that good. All right. <clears throat> so there it is. All cleaned up. Lugs cleaned up. See, there's a little, there was a deep scratch in there from, must have been from the factory because it's blued, but that's not really going to matter. Uh, that little scratch on that inner lug there. There we go. Because um, that'll just hold some grease. And then we got our bolt face all done up and our lug abutments. And this thing should be good to go. So that is uh, truing up the receiver and the bolt. And I think that's going to be about it for this. We're getting kind of long winded with this. So. Uh, if you guys like that, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I sure appreciate the likes and subscribe because it sure helps me out. Uh, if we can get over a thousand, that'd be great. At this point in time, I'm just under. So um, if you guys need anything done, uh, my contact info should be below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.